My name's Lucy and I will be showing you how to make a flat plate prosthetic. Having already vaselined my mould, I'm going to go straight in with the encapsulate using an acetone based cap plastic. plastic will be diluted with acetone. Ideally, I don't want a really watery mixture as this will mean I have to do more layers. Simply use a brush to apply the cap plastic. You'll need about two to three layers depending on how thick your cap plastic now is. Just make sure it's fully dried before applying the next layer. Next, we move on to mixing the silicon. Everything that I have used will be down in the description. For this, I've labelled three plastic short shot glasses as A, B and D. This is so that I don't get the pro products confused. Using a set of digital scales, I individually weighed out each of the three products. Part A, B and then Deadner, which is the D. Here I'm actually making more than one piece, which is why I've weighed out more than would actually be needed for a piece this size. Here I'm colouring part A first using a small amount of white silicon pigment. Now I measure out part B. This must be the exact same measurement as part A was. To colour part B I'm going to use a light shade of a liquid foundation. However, a silicon pigment will also work just as well. By colouring the individual parts you'll be able to see that all of them have mixed together. Then we move on to adding deadener. This will give your piece some flexibility to it. Now most deadeners will have a maximum of 100%, whereas this one here says 300. This basically means it's the combined amount of A and B. An example being, if part A and part B were 4 grams, 100% of deadener would then be double that, which is 8 grams. With the three parts measured, I can now add flocking to part B. Flocking are small, almost felt-like fibres that when added to the silicon mix will give it some depth and help maintain the undertone of the model. As this was a piece I made for myself, I found I needed a little bit of red, yellow and blue. This will be different depending on who your model for this piece is. In a separate shot glass, now mix all three components together. Make sure you get as much of the product out as possible and then carefully mix until it is all combined. If it is not all combined, you run the risk of your piece not setting. Be sure to mix it all together well, otherwise your piece may not completely cure. Now depending on the size of your mould, you may find that you can just pour it all in completely. But as mine is rather small, I felt it better to carefully dribble it in using my spatula. Make sure you fill in the wedging around your sculpt. 
as this should become flashing when you pull your piece out. While this isn't a necessary thing to do, it is easier to hold the piece whilst applying it. After I had filled the mould, I did go back and clean up the edges a little bit, as a small amount of silicon had dribbled where I didn't want it. With the silicon now poured, I'm going to leave it for around 30 minutes, and then I will see if it is cured. It could possibly take longer than this, depending on the environment you're in. And once your piece has set, you can carefully demould it using a fluffy brush and some baby powder or talc powder.